As kids, we learn to count. One, two, three apples. There are three apples in the box. But what if we have multiple boxes? Then we learn to do three plus three plus three. At some point, it's easier to count the boxes. If there are three boxes with three apples, we do three multiplied by three. If there are three trucks, each carrying three boxes of three apples, and three boats, each carrying three trucks, we do three multiplied by three, multiplied by three, multiplied by three. A simpler way to write it is to count the number of levels. This is called the exponential. What is the greatest number you can imagine? Part one. Exponential is very powerful as it allows us to write really large numbers. When you write 10 to the power of nine, it simply means one followed by nine zeros, thus one billion. There are seven billion people on planet Earth right now. There are three billion seconds in a century. If you could meet one human every second, it would take 200 years to meet everyone. Or maybe more, because by the time you get there, the population would have increased. But we could write even bigger numbers. What do you think about writing 10 exponential 18? One followed by 18 zeros. It's nearly three times the age of the universe in seconds. Let's multiply it by 10 to have one more zero. 10 exponential 19. This is approximately the number of atoms of silicium in one grain of sand. According to some fun computation by mathematicians at the University of Hawaii, 10 exponential 19 is also more or less the number of grains of sands on all the beaches in the world. 10 exponential 19 times 10 exponential 19 is 10 exponential 38. This makes a total of 10 exponential 38 atoms of silicium in all the beaches in the world. One followed by 38 zeros. That's for beaches on Earth. But what about the universe? There's an estimated 10 to the power of 80 atoms in our whole universe. 10 exponential 100 is called the Google number. A Google grains of sand would be enough to fill the entire universe of sand. Not once, but 10 billion times. Those numbers are becoming so large that we can't even imagine them. But at the very least, we can write them. A few hundred zeros fit on a sheet of paper. But what if we go one level higher and use exponential in the exponent itself? 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 100, or 10 to the power of Google is called the Googleplex. Only writing the Googleplex number would require you to write 10 billion numbers for each grain of sand if our entire universe was filled with it. After that, you would have written, and only written, the Googleplex number. And it's only just the beginning. 